So we've talked about this several times with several people and um, I think it'll just be better if I make a quick video here to show you how this works. We're replacing an ECM for testing and you can't just swap an ECM because it's married to the screen, which is up here behind the dashboard and the screen is married to the chip key or a chip inside the key here. And if we could take this apart, there's a little tiny black turd in here. It's somewhere between a Lego brick and a mouse turd that is the chip. This type of key also has it. And if you look closely, usually up oh, there it is. Yep, there's a little door. If we were to pry that door open, we can look at that. We have a whole video on duplicating keys. It'll show you more on that. But right now, let's get back to the testing an ECM. Pull the ECM down, tw untwist the wires a bit to get it out. We've got a whole separate video on that as well, on putting the ECM back into position. Uh, we're going to take this section down from here with uh, one nut on the bottom down here, two screws up in here, and that drops away. Then this wiggles off of the, uh, the ignition here, and that needs to be separated from the key because changing out that ignition lock, that's, that's something else. That, that's a whole other deal there, changing that out. And the scream is typically mounted to the back of the speedometer here. We just push on this little tab and it lifts away. And then we can work with that. To get at this top, there's two screws up under here in this arch. Then the, the vent lifts away. There's two screws here and the other side of the half moon. And then that lifts away. Then there's two screws on either side of the dash cluster, so that tips forward. It'll even lift out of there if you wiggle it a little bit. It comes out so you can really get at the back side and figure out how to get that off best. Now with everything taken apart, we've swapped the ECMs, we've swapped the screen, we don't want to swap the ignition switch. We're going to take the, the key with the chip in it that came with this ECM and screen and put that in the antenna. Doesn't matter if it goes this way or that way. It's a circular antenna in there. So as long as we get that chip somewhere close, be it this chip or the chip hiding inside here. And usually it'd be hiding, let's see, where is that anymore? The battery battery is down here the pivot is up here so the chip would be up in this corner we're going to get that in there close to the antenna then put the vans key into the ignition where it fits and start the van it starts right up no start air now we can read codes and verify that it is not an ecm problem on this van because well if we get the same codes with a different ecm Obviously, it's not the ECM problem. Oh, yeah, once the van starts, I suppose I should have shown it this way. Start the van. Once it's started, we can put this key away because it only needs that to authorize the startup process.